Welcome back to Sailing Wicket. While we've been gone, we added a few small sewing projects while we wait for our settee cushions to be completed. We made hatch covers to help keep the sun and heat out of the boat and get rid of the foil tape we were temporarily using. While this worked great, it wasn't aesthetically pleasing. We followed instructions from a sailrite video on YouTube and they were simple enough to complete in a day. All right, what size wire are you pulling? Okay. again? Yeah, found it. All right. So, one, two. We are planning out the locations for the outlets and where we need to run wire and what wire we've already run in the past. This will help us determine what materials we will need. For now, we are connecting one outlet so we determine if we are capable of getting the system up and running. Wicked is heavily reliant on shore power to be able to charge her batteries and use outlets inside. This was a quick setup we did to be able to make Wicked more comfortable while working and living aboard. And it helped us to save to be able to afford the electrical setup we wanted. It's DC so it shouldn't, shouldn't be further across the boat. We decided to go with Victron for our electrical system. We've heard great things about them and we love to be able to look at our iPad or our phones and monitor our batteries and our entire system. So now we are hooking up the VE Bus Smart dongle so that we can pick up information from our inverter and from our batteries. So now we're hooking up the positive and negative eyes to the positive and negative on the battery. This has a built-in temperature sensor, so we remove that adhesive, stick it to the top. We have enough clearance here, so we'll still be able to close the top. We don't want to put it on the side because we are leaving space to get two, two more batteries. Um, yeah, so we're going to take care of that now. Okay, now that we've got the inverter outlets figured out, we're going, instead of running all the line now, we, um, we know we have everything we need for that. We're going to start another project so that if we need to run to the store for anything, we can just get everything at the same time. What is it we're working on? I don't even know. AC, <laughs> the AC on the inverter. All that. So now we're hooking up our Orion DC to DC charging so we can charge our battery from our engine, our alternator. Um, so our mission is to get off the dock and in order to do that we need to be able to charge our batteries. So we figured out the solar and we can charge from shore power obviously. So now we are working on charging from the engine. Can we connect to the battery? Yeah. Well, the battery is connected to the alternator already. Because that's what keeps the battery charged. That's what I'm saying. Alright. Let's do it. So now that that wire is run, we are going to make our connections on either side and connect them and then hopefully everything works. <laughs> We're pulling 0.7 amps from that outlet. 
So I'm on the Victron amp to see app to see how many amps are being pulled from the outlet that we just installed for from the inver inverter. Um, Matt's using the heat gun. It pulls max 10 amps. That's what it says on the rating. And currently we are at 9.41 amps. We're fluctuating between 9.25 and 9.41. You can see where it says AC output. So, so far so good. He just turned it off and we're down to zero amps. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. So, I would call that a success. Yeah. Me too. Awesome. Good work, guys. Lots of boat jobs, lots of boat jobs. We finished all of our charging things. And now, what are we doing? We're putting the sails up? Yeah. What? Yeah. The rolling curler. All right, we're putting sails up. Hi, you'll see me I don't even know what to do. Or nothing. Okay. We're just going forward. We're not even gonna like YouTube it. Figure it out. Is that it though? Yeah, that's the head. It has an H on it. So we got these sails before we even started fixing the boat. So <laughs> we thought we thought we were gonna fix the boat in a couple months. Yeah, it's been three years. So they're brand new sails, but we've had them for at least two years. Nice. Precision. Thank you for working with us. Nah, they don't sponsor us. And giving us these great sails. We're not. Oh, they did have a good Black Friday sale, but you know what? They do it every Black Friday. Don't fall, señor.
Early the next morning, we began to tackle the bolts on the motor mounts. We could see they were rusted and corroded and learned from our rudder dramas that it could take an entire day to unseize them. Which was time we didn't have, as we only had a short weekend to complete our motor mount swap. So we threw everything we had at those bolts to loosen them from the engine. Stay tuned next week for a raw holla video, where you'll see our mistakes, wins, and of course, more boat shops.